Hey guys, Bill here posting an update to the how to remove a browser hijacker video. Uh, there's been some big changes to Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, both of them making a really good effort to simplify and compact things. Microsoft Edge just needing to move around quite a bit more to get there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with Google Chrome. These are going to be the most up-to-date versions of both of the browsers as of the posting of this video. So I'm going to double left click Google Chrome and then I'm going to work my way to the top right hand corner where I have these three dots. Now you're probably not going to see it says Google, especially if you're watching this video, but you should still have those three dots in the top right hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and left click those. We're going to work our way down to settings. And then we're going to go down to where it says clear browsing data. We're going to go to the advanced tab, select the all time option. And then you're going to want to check the boxes that apply to you. Now, in most cases, you're going to want to have browsing history, download history, cookies and other site data, and cache images and files checked. Now, by default, you're not going to have passwords and other sign-in data uh, checked. That's because most people <laughs> don't always remember their usernames and passwords. It can be very frustrating. So I do not recommend you just go through and check all these boxes and thinking you're cleaning out your browser for the best. That is not going to be good if you do not remember some usernames and passwords. So get that sorted out first before checking this box. Once we're past that, we're going to work our way down to the appearance section. And the home button is what we're going to start with here because the home button can be overrided by some hijackers. So you want to make sure this is set to what you'd like it to be. Um, if there's something in here and you don't want anything there, just delete it, switch it to a new tab page, or turn the home button off so you're not accessing that malicious portion of Google Chrome. Next, if you have a crap ton of malicious bookmarks and you don't use bookmarks, you could simply disable the bookmarks bar, ignore it, you know, and, and avoid going to even near them. However, if you do have malicious bookmarks and you're worried about revisiting those sites and you know stirring up these issues again, you can access your bookmarks by returning to those three dots in the top right hand corner and simply going down to your bookmark section and sorting out and deleting the bookmarks in that in that panel there. After scrolling down just a bit more where it says search engine, uh, just beneath that for search engine used in the address bar, you want to make sure underneath this drop down menu, you just have Google, DuckDuckGo, um, or the other non-malicious search providers or your preferred one. And if there's any malicious ones in here, after, even after setting your preferred, you want to make sure you go down to where it says manage search engines. And then to the right of the malicious search engine, you want to left click the three dots and remove it from the list. And then we're going to go back. Next, we are going to work our way down to the on startup section, which is probably where your issues are going to start and begin with most hijackers. Um, if you, for Google Chrome, if you set this to the open new tab page, it's simply going to open up to the default Google browser. Um, if you do continue where you left off, and I do not recommend doing this if you have a lot of pages open on a low end computer, um, you know, 30, 20 tabs or so, it's not very healthy for the machine and will bog down your general experience. I recommend setting good bookmarks where you know the destinations, you know, turning your bookmark bar on and simplifying access in each one of those sites uh, on a single browser, unless of course you need multiple open to function in a certain way, but I doubt 20 is necessary. Then where your browser hijacker is probably going to be sleeping, resting, hibernating, destroying your life is the open specific page or set of pages section. Um, you want to add a new page, make your own page, remove anything else that might be there. I'm going to go ahead and add a new page, www.kadaza.com. That's a bad one. I don't want to go there, right? So let's close out Google Chrome, open up Google Chrome. And what is this Kadaza? This isn't Google. This is garbage. This isn't what I want. I'm going to go to those three dots in the top right hand corner. I'm going to work my way down to settings. I want to get rid of this browser hijacker. What is this Kadaza garbage? I'm going to remove this. I'm going to close my Google Chrome. I'm going to open it back up and look at that. Lo and behold, our browser hijacker is gone. Now, if all of that fails, you can work your way down to the very bottom of the settings page. Click the advanced drop down menu. Go down to the very bottom again and restore settings to the original defaults. Now this will set all the default settings for when Google Chrome was fresh installed. You don't want to use the cleanup computer section as that will not apply to fixing your browser hijacker issue uh, specifically. If that does not work and all else fails, you want to make your way back to your desktop and go down to the bottom left hand corner where it says type here to search and left click in that box. 
or you can press the Windows key physically on your actual keyboard in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and that will open what is called the start menu and begin typing the words add or remove and it should pop up where it says add or remove programs. Now you can press enter or you can left click this and it will open up the add apps and features section of the Windows settings and you're going to go through and remove Google Chrome so in this section you would left click Google Chrome and you would hit uninstall or you would do the same thing for anything that you feel is malicious such as Chrome, a Chromium browser that you didn't intend to be there um, or any malicious program web discover uh, which is a browser overlay that doesn't even need to have a browser open that can be considered a hijacker as well um, those sorts of things and once you've done that because that does not actually fully remove the browser from your computer you could go ahead and reinstall Google Chrome and still have this issue in, in a very extreme case now here's what we do to remove the residual data for Google Chrome specifically now if you can translate the rest of this information to remove any other browser be my guest but I am only showing you how to do this for Google Chrome now same thing you want to go to the bottom left hand corner where it says type here to search and left click or press the key and start typing where and start typing the word percent so you want the percent symbol and then you want to type app data and then the percent symbol again and I will put that in the comments so you can just copy and paste that down there if uh, you have issues typing that on the keyboard now again you want to left click or press enter I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter that'll open up the app data and roaming page you want to left click in the top bar here where you're lighting up blue where it says app data you want to left click app data and then you want to left click local and you want to find Google and again, if you have information in Google that you'd like to retain, I recommend taking this to a professional. This is, you know, last ditch effort. You just want to browse the web, sign into your email or whatever without a hassle. You want to right click Google and delete. OK, then you would have officially completely deleted the Google br Chrome browser from your computer. Next, I'm going to be moving on to the Microsoft Edge browser. So I'm going to go ahead and double left click the new Microsoft Edge browser. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably not going to be seeing this, but you still will have those three dots in the top right hand corner. So we're going to go ahead and left click those three dots in the top right hand corner, work our way down to settings. It's going to be almost the exact same order in just about any browser as you could see in the in the main differences between uh, Chrome and Edge here. And we're first going to start from the left hand side. We're going to start with privacy, search and services. We're going to left click that. OK, now if this is the first time you've ever done this where it says clear browsing data now in the bottom panel. You're going to left click where it says choose what to clear. You're going to check the boxes that apply to you and make sure in the drop down you want to have all time checked. OK, now one cool thing about Edge is that you don't have to keep doing this. You can go to where it says choose what to clear every time you close the browser. And it's like having a little automatic janitor uh, cleaning up your browser every time you open it and close it. It's wonderful. Same thing here. Just go ahead and check the tabs that apply to you. And we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom in the same privacy search and services tab where it says address bar and search. It's at the very bottom. Left click that. And where it says search engine use and address bar, you want to make sure this is set to whatever your preferred search, preferred search provider is. You know, again, I recommend Google or DuckDuckGo. Um, and again, you don't want to leave the bad search engines in there. So you want to left click where it says manage search engines. Hit those little three dots. Uh, left click one of those three dots and remove the malicious search engine so they don't find their way back in front of you. OK, next, all the way to the left hand panel, we're going to switch to the appearance tab. OK, now you want to make sure where it says for the home page, because this can be hijacked, that this is set to what you want it to be or it is disabled. OK, now for the favorites bar, I find it far more convenient to switch to have your favorites always showing. It's nice to have. Just make sure you have favorites that are yours and not things are malicious and you can disable the collections panel if you don't uh, know what that extra button is, uh, but I recommend learning it. It's a nice new feature that they have, but not what this video is about. <laughs> so next we're going to move over to the on startup page. Now on startup page, this is probably where the browser hijacker is going to start and end. Uh, so for your open a new tab is going to be your basic uh, Microsoft Edge Bing startup. The continue where you left off, I don't recommend doing, um, especially if you have tons of malicious tabs opening at a time. Uh, so that might be where your problems are starting here. So next we want to move on to open a specific page or set of pages. And this is primarily where the browser hijackers are going to be. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add one that I'm familiar with. 
Kadazza.com. I'm going to close my Microsoft Edge just to show you all over again how to remove this. So lo and behold, boom, we have a browser hijacker. So we're going to work our way to the three dots, go down to settings, go over to the on startup page where it says Kadazza, work our way to the right to the other three dots, left click those, and then left click delete. And now if I close my Microsoft Edge browser and removed all those startup pages, I'm just going to have the standard Bing Microsoft Edge browser. Now, if all else fails, back in the Microsoft Edge settings menu, same part where we have privacy search and services, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says reset settings, and we're going to left click restore settings to their default values, and this will reset your entire Microsoft Edge browser. Thank you for watching, and I'll be working to further update my old videos as well to get everything in line with the newest version of Windows, and I'll try to keep that going for as long as I can. Thank you.